Enter. a long time get it warmed up in here so I figured I'd come in early oh geez phone keeps going off Eleven degrees outside. Much better in here. friend of mine's been dropping off some uh, cutoffs. They burn hot, but they burn quick. Scored all this firewood, but uh, joke's on me for most of it. Most of it's like an inch too long to fit in the stove. Very small opening on this stove. I don't really, uh, don't really like that. But this is green light flashing. Never seen that flash before. A little cold for the old champagne light. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get that going. Okay, start a fire, isn't it? Whew. 
sit still. Warm up, baby. Yeah, it's still cold. Hold on. Ooh. Makes it easy to work on now. Right to that pesky distributor. It's nice and easy. Oh yeah. Get her warmed up. All joints were replaced. Not as bad as I thought. I thought I'd be missing a lot more metal than that. I can work with that. Not too bad. Oh, just chooching. Calm down. Yeah. Let her warm up a little bit in here. The chooch on her. gonna take a shit. Too cold to take a shit. Climbing. Almost 50. Well, I guess that's the uh, only one on that. 98 Civic. See that number? It's good if you can find the numbers on them. Because then uh, if you have a real core buyer, they have numbers listed so they can pay the best prices. All the good stuff inside there. Platinum, palladium. 
kind of thought I was going to have to get underneath of it and cut the other one off. Usually there's one more, but there wasn't. The exhaust looks all factory too, so hopefully that's a uh, big payout for that. It's pretty heavy. Wasn't going to fight with the bolts, so I'd rather just cut through it. It's pretty thick, but good sawzall blade will cut right through. So, the exact point I was trying to make when dealing with that guy, the farm animal guy, those junk cars, you take a gamble. With the prices so low now, it's, a, it's nothing but a gamble on these cars. The amount I'm going to get and just wait, just scrapping it for what it is, is is going to get me um, break even, get my gas money back for the day. Um, especially a Honda Civic doesn't weigh anything. Even that Pontiac uh, Grand Am doesn't weigh anything. Um, so I look at it like it's a gamble because that Honda, that converter would be um, you know over a hundred bucks anyway between a hundred and two hundred anyway it depends on which one it has um, so that's the gamble there I mean um, I don't know before looking at it if it's going to be one on the manifold it could be one underneath could be two under there it's it's always different uh, you know people just call you and say I got a Honda I got a, this I got that you know so I plan for the best case where I take the I cut the cat off. Now I still got to get out. I got to get under there in the snow and the ice. You know, you still got to do something to do it. You know, to get it to get the money. Um, so yeah, the people you know, the average person that is uh, you know giving you the junk cars, they don't know about the converters. But that's that's part of the business. That's I mean, I got to make money somehow, or else why would I do it? So, um, you know, it's it's perfect scenario here to tell you that, you know, it's a complete loss on that Honda because somebody has replaced the converter on that. That, that cat is an aftermarket. It means that one time or the other the thing wouldn't pass emissions or it wasn't running right or something and the mechanic said, you need a new converter so you buy one now the stupid thing is is that thing was probably a couple hundred bucks at least uh, never mind what the mechanic up charges and then charge you to put it on deal with all the rusty bolts and all that but in the scrap world the scrap value of that is about five dollars so See what would have happened with that car if I had paid for that car I would have totally just been throwing money out the window um, so that being said uh, you know the car had no title um, they're real strict about titles up here in Maine you can't do anything you don't have a title for uh, 96 and newer I believe so they couldn't do anything with it and needed to shift a cable and it was sitting there in the woods and you know I mean seemed like it didn't run too bad but uh, <clears throat> the Pontiac weird thing had a, I don't even know what year I didn't even look what year it was but uh, the thing had a, had a quad four in it 2.4 four cylinder uh, it's kind of weird with those 
but that I definitely know that uh, that had the factory cat on it, which is a fairly good one. Um, it's at least a hundred, so um, <clears throat> drop those cars off like you know, like you know, I don't. I take pictures of the scale, weigh myself in and out, and then uh, I gotta go get paid for that stuff. But um, that's the game right there. So uh, you know, I'll um, by the time I get paid for those two cars, I mean that Honda, I don't even think that weighs a ton. So that. The last time I knew it was, uh, he was paying $40 a ton. So, that's it. That's, uh, 30, 40 bucks. Gas money back. Pontiac, a little heavier. Maybe I'll get 60 for that. But, I'll end up cashing in the cat and getting my profit. So, really, you see there's a, not a lot of profit there. Um. I figured it was something to do, and the guy didn't want anything for him. He said on the phone, but you see what happens. I got there, and he still tried, tried to trick me, and uh, tried to get something out of it, you know. All it takes is, you know, somebody talking to somebody else, some someone bullshit that doesn't know anything about it you know him he could have went down to the you know coffee shop or something and said you know oh yeah I get this guy's gonna get these two junk cars out of here oh how much you getting for him no you're just gonna take them oh you gotta get money for those oh, that's worth money scraps worth a ton of money oh yeah you know all it takes is that one guy that doesn't know anything about anything and then the people start to get ideas in their head. So, that's how it works. That's how it goes. That's the way she goes. Thanks for listening to me. Till next time.